This is the Frugal Gardener, and I have a question for you today. What do all these plants, shrubs, and trees have in common? Stick with me, and I'll give you the answer. Welcome back to my garden. Well, it's not really a garden. It's the first day of March, and there's not a whole lot going on, but I am getting ready for spring. So... Before I get into this video, I got a, a um, comment. I read all the comments on my YouTube page, and one of the uh, comments was that I talk too fast. They want me to slow down. And I guess that's true. And part of the reason is because I don't want to be interrupted, just like there. Um, sometimes it's a train that comes by. I don't know when that's going to be. So I try and get finished before the train comes. Sometimes it's 12 o'clock whistle. That's on Wednesdays at noon. And sometimes people just roll up on me while I'm filming. My neighbors will come by and ignore the camera and just start a conversation. So... That's why I try and rush. So, I wasn't really aware of it, but now that I am, I will slow down. There's one thing I wanted to say also before I started, and that is spring is coming, so you might want to test your soil. This is obviously a, a soil test kit, but in a lot of states, the Department of Agriculture they will test your soil for free. So let's get on to what's happening here. I brought all these, I would say within the last week, week and a half, from Sam's. Now, you can probably pick these up in a lot of different places, but the problem is they'll sell you one and not two. And in a lot of cases, you do need two of these. This is another windy day, so I'm trying to fight back the wind. And so anyway, um, I get two of these for, I think it was like um, $14. So I think that's a deal. I think it's a steal, actually. Because in a lot of cases, you do need to plant two of these together. I think blueberries is one of those cases. So, why do I have all these out? What do they all have in common? Well, a couple of years ago, I did a blog, and the title of the blog was Future Food. So, a future food um, forest is a, coin, a phrase that I coined, and basically, it is food that you plant now, and... You have to wait for it. It's going to take a couple of years in some cases. In some cases, it might just take a year. But in this case, everything that you see here will be there for you a couple of years from now when you need it. I mean, we had the whole pandemic thing and everybody freaked out because there were things that were missing off the shelves. And so... If you plant these things now, this is a few of them. When you read the, I'll put a link to the um, blog um, underneath this video. But you plant these now, and you'll have some food. I mean, it's not obviously going to be everything you need. But to give you an example, these goju berries and these strawberries, they will provide you with uh, berries for three to five years. The strawberries, you'll get runners off of those. You can replant those and just keep replanting them and you'll have strawberries forever. I mean, this these asparagus here, that's probably going to last you for about 10 years. They'll come back year after year and you won't have to replant those. The blueberries are the total opposite of the strawberries because those blueberries that 
there are, there are certain types of blueberries that will come back every year for 50 years. That goes back to my point about the soil. If you treat the soil right, if you treat the plant right, the bush right, you can have blueberries for a very long time. On the other hand, the uh, grapes, grapes will last, grape vines, certain grape vines, depends upon the grape, will last you about 25 years. Uh, pecan trees, that's another story, I'm not sure how long, but all of these, each, each and every one of these will last you for a minimum of three years without having to plant every spring, hence the term future food. So if you plant any of these now, I mean it's an investment I guess you can say because it's really inexpensive and you keep getting food year after year after year. So I think it's a good idea. That's what I have for you guys today. I want you to get, at least consider it. You might not run out and buy all these, but even if you get a few, I think it'll be worth your time and worth the effort. And you'll have some food to look forward to in the future without having to plan every spring. So that's it for today. I am the Frugal Gardener. Please subscribe if you haven't. I have some big, big, big news coming up soon. I'm excited about it. I'm, I'm tempted to tell you what it is now, but I'm going to wait. At any rate, when you grow your own food, you'll always know where it comes from. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Enjoy your day.